just want to kick Legend here with super awesome combo number two. <laughs> Uh, so, here again with Guru T. Kent Nelson at KSK Martial Arts, and last time we looked at something that uh, was pretty trappy, ending into some sea line and jiu-jitsu, which was wonderful. And today we're going to start with something uh, a little more kickboxy to start with, and then ending with some sea line. Cool. Take it away. Uh, so let's just start with a basic uh, like three count kick. Okay, so just like a jab, cross, a slap, and I like ear slaps, right? And we'll just go right to a, to a leg kick just to start. Okay. So one, two, three, and put this in. I'm just going to drop. I'm going to helmet my way in. Okay, because now that I've got you feeling a little bit of pain, I'm using my elbows like a spear, cover everything, and come in, and that's going to take me into clinching. I'm going to use a basic key position. I'm going to kick this back. When I kick that back, I like to kind of steal some seal out there, like a back sweep. Okay. I'm just going to step up here, I'm going to go for my hip throw. Okay. Once I land here, I'm just going to steal right out of La Costa's seal out, right? I'm just going to stomp the head. I'm going to step over. I'm going to hit this arm bar here. Hit this arm bar here, and then kick over as you sit up. Then I'm just going to hyperextend right here. Right, so one, two, three. Kick the leg. Helmet in. Kick the leg back. Hit the hip toss. Stomp the face, come over, hit the first arm bar, hit the second arm bar, kick over, and then hyperextend right here. Great, yeah, it's really awesome. Uh, you know, for those who think this looks a little martial arty, <laughs> it is very martial arty, and we don't really apologize for that, right? Yeah, this teaches you positions, and it allows you to learn these positions by getting into them in fun combos, right? We're not saying this is how it shakes out. If your C-Lot or martial arts is good, that fight ended way before all that cool shit happened. For sure. Right? Hopefully in that first punch. So, but it teaches you a lot of possibilities, and it's fun, and it's educational. I really like the helmet, because also... It's nice that it's in such a complex combo because the helmet is really fundamentally practical. Yeah. Right? So that's how you get that entry. It doesn't matter all the cool stuff I'm doing, you just barrel in there. Uh, so after he's thrown his combo, right? So after the kick, typically I'm about to respond, right? He's, by the fourth beat, hopefully I have an answer if I haven't been knocked out yet. So that helmet, whatever I'm throwing, you know, even if I'm going to clinch, I think I have position, but he's on the inside, right? And those double elbows, Kent's being nice. Um, if you were to just put it in even a little bit, watch what my body does. Right? And he's being nice still. because that's forearm you. Yeah, because he's hitting me with the forearms, not the tip of the elbow. Right. Right? Just a little shock like that coming in it is going to knock the wind out of you a little bit. Sure. And even if I'm getting some good shots, uh, he's changed the range, right? So maybe the most vulnerable thing is like the haymaker that turns into the rabbit punch, but he's changing the range, right? So when he comes in, see how much space before I can actually make contact? So I'd have to be pretty sophisticated to make that damaging to him compared to what he's doing for me. So try it out. Uh, make sure you check out uh, Kent's website, I'll put the links in the video description. In the meantime, this is Royal Kick Legend. Keep your chin down, I'll make the striking.